Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Today is May 10th. I am vlogging because you have to always be aware, maybe even leery of your contractors that you're using. And that's, that's why a lot of people do a general contractor when building something big or someone else they can just pay and the job is finished. No, I'm beyond that. I'm my own general contractor, but I have to watch out for um, who I contract. So let me see how honest can I be. This is the type of worker that I want. I will tell you this for sure. Because I myself am a hard worker and I'm a boss. I like to hire hard working bosses. I don't want the person subcontracting the job out. I want the person that I hired to be one of the workers like I don't want someone that's not what I'm looking for I'm not looking to give an extra 10% just because you're overseeing it no I, I can oversee my own work I got that part that's the easy part for me because I want it this way this way it's gonna get inspected so that's not the problem so right now I'm dealing with an electrician an electrician that I passed on a job before because it just didn't feel, seem, sound. And I had someone else that was jumping for the job on top of that. Now, the reason why I'm not recontracting or hiring that same electrician is because mid-job, the communication was not good. And I was like, oh my God, he's not even returning the phone call. Like, all you have to say to me, if you were supposed to that Monday start on the job, and maybe you're behind because you're working for builders and I'm a little person and you're running behind on me and it's Wednesday and I'm calling you to say, hey, what's your timeline? Call me back, text me, return my phone call, say something because when it's time for you to get paid, I return your phone call. I have your check ready, cashier's check. I have your money ready to issue. So don't do me the way you don't want someone to do you. So that is the only reason why I'm not using that electrician again, quite honestly. Um, and because you know how your, your items are warranted? And so they're going mosquito. So your items are warranted and you got you got to call it within a certain time period or you lose the warranty. Well, okay, I'm calling you after the job is finished and you're not returning the call still? Like communication is still hard? Like the, the way I was able to get that electrician is because I kept calling. I was like, oh my God, I hope I don't have to sue him, please. Da, 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 da. I had looked up and I was getting ready to go to his house and I just so happened to get the office, which was his home, and it was his wife, and I had relayed and talked and whatever. And she said, oh, okay, I'm him. I was like, all you got to do is call me and say, hey, look, this Monday, we're not going to make it. We're two weeks behind. I'm going to get back to you two weeks. Say something. That's the point. Say something. Do not just leave me out here flapping, hanging. Uh, I don't know which way is left, but my money is good. So say something. If you can't show up, you say something. That's a courtesy. That's respectful. You know, because I'll feel some sort of way because I, I am a female. I am a woman doing a job and I don't want you to take me for granted or take me like some person that don't know what's business. I, I know some business. I know specifics. I may not know how to do the job, but I know what I want and I know what it what it details and I know what it needs to look like. And I know how I want my workers to work. So dealing with this other electrician, I've been looking for electricians looking. A lot of them are behind on jobs. Or, uh, so I got this electrician from a friend that always builds and remodels and things of that nature. So it's good to have people like that. So he was like, I was telling him, I had said, Hey, I, I need an electrician. He was like, you remember my, my boy, remember my boy? I said, Oh yeah. 
I passed on him last time. He said, well, give him another shot. I told him to take care of you. I told him to give you one of my specials and stuff like that. And then just let him be at labor and you take care of uh, uh, material. I'm like, okay, because, you know, every all the prices have gone up. 2021, all the prices have gone up. The end of 2020. Like, not only the housing market has gone up, but material. Because everybody wants it. Everybody's running out the, the demand. It's crazy. So... I'm like, okay. And so, like, he's calling. He was working on core. He was doing all that. And I was thinking to myself, because I wanted to be specific and I wanted to let him know. Thank you for helping me because you're you're doing a good job. Because he was calling. Yeah, and they didn't get back with me. And let's make an appointment for this. And, and I'm going to get with this lady. She'll take care of us and see if we can do a transformer. Because we don't want to go all the way up here. Or we don't want to go all the way underground. And that and that's going to cost a lot. And he's doing all this like behind the scenes action. So I'm like, okay, good. But I'm peeping it the whole time. Because I'm like, you're doing a lot of work. So what 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 you what you want? Because you, you don't have the job yet. So I we was texting, talking, whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. I look forward to seeing your estimate. I want to be clear. So I was like, I've said it a few times. I, I look forward to seeing your estimate. So I want to I wanna let you know, this ain't set. Like, I had another electrician that was bidding the same time he's bidding. I had some other people. Everybody said, I'm busy. I'm busy. I hate to leave you and strange you. I'm busy. I'm... So, I appreciate honesty. Here he go doing all this work. Now, let me tell you the twist about it. And, you know, don't do me. So, we went. He was like, okay, let's meet and I can sign. You know, and I was like, let's get the paperwork and whatever. And he told me how he did the pricing and this and that. And I was like, okay, cool. That sounds solid. That's fine. Oh, with these prices I received from other electricians, it's okay. I just don't know what my material looks like. So I'm like, um, okay, that's cool. So I said, we'll meet tomorrow. What's, you know, get it, let's get it on the calendar. And we met and then we was there and we was talking, had the plans. He sent me the paperwork. I said, let's walk through here first so I can make sure we soon, so then I can sign. Because I want to make sure, because, you know, I'm going to change it against the plans. I needed to do this, this, go left and go to right. And <laughs> city ain't going to keep up with all of that. You know, I'm telling him I want TVs up here, this and that and that and the other. And then he was like, okay, that's cool. We can do that. And then I said, you got a marker? You want me to get a marker? Because I want to go ahead and we can knock this out where I want stuff. Oh, it's on the plans. I said, it's going to be different from the plans. He was like, oh, okay, yeah. So he did have a little marker and we put, but it didn't sound, I said, you got time? Cause you got to go. Oh yeah. See, he don't, he was like, okay. I mean, I don't know. He was slow about it. He was slow about it. And, um, uh, and then I'm like here. So I just took the pen from the star mark and I want this and I want that and this and that. And this is what I want. I want a fan in, in here, the kitchen and I want this and that. He was like, let me see if I can do a fan. I want a fan in the kitchen because it's going to be hot. And I don't feel like them trying to lift the air up because the kitchen, because the oven is on. Y'all cooking in there all day. Of course, it's going to be hot. So y'all thinking. So anyway, then we walk and he said, yeah, because I hate to put this there and it should go there. And I don't want the electrical way over there and go behind there. And this is going to be easier and simpler and blah, blah, blah. Okay, that sounds fine. And we walk, and then he says, so here we go. Here we go. Because something about him made me look at him at this particular moment. And I'm looking at him like, what is he doing? He looked like he up here pretending. In my mind, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, because it's really, we got all the business together. We're finished. He walk over there, then he looks back. And it was like slow motion. Like, I could see it coming. I'm going to need so much money probably about Wednesday. And I said, well, when are you going to start working? Oh, we're going to start this weekend. You're going to start this weekend? What day this weekend? Baby, I'm, this is money. Oh, we'll start Saturday and Sunday. And Okay, and that's Mother's Day. But okay, I'm listening. I didn't say that, but I'm just listening. We'll start Saturday and Sunday. And then I said, okay, so I'll tell you what. You know, how many phases do we have? Got the rough end, got the fit, got, okay. So, with that being said, 
um, if you start Saturday and Sunday, because I'm only paying you labor, then let me know how much and who the cashier's check is going to go to. And we'll take care of that. Oh, okay. And then, not that day, because I think, or maybe it was that day. It was just that morning. So, let me see if I can get it clear. Because he texted me this morning. Today is Monday. And I'm like, so, okay, so Friday. Okay, so I think it was Friday, Thursday. Because I went straight to the uh, electric company and turned in the application so that they can just give him access, give me access, and just get what I need, the product, whatever I need. He can just go pick it up and bring it back. So, um, I'm sorry, I had to, I'm up here visualizing it. So, I did that. And then I had texted him. I said, what's your first name and your last name? Because I needed it to give him the line of credit. And I, I knew his first name. I didn't have a spelling. I forgot his last name because I had it on the contract. But he texted me. And then next thing I know, he texted me an amount of money. And it was more than we discussed. Like, he turned around and texted that. And then, he, you know, he did his company name. And I was saying, I looked at that. And I was like, that's pretty much half of the amount that we agreed to and that's quite early to give you half this is how my mind go because what i did talk to him when he started talking about money was it at that site or was it later i can't remember let me think my son don't want to wear that mask anymore i guess he too cool for that mask child and i know it wasn't gonna last that long but he doesn't keep his nose covered and but anyway, um, it was over the phone we had the conversation because when he texts me the amount, which was more than we talked about, and a little bit more than half, just slightly more than half of the overall agreed amount when we got two phases, that, qu that made me question it. So after I got out of the electric place, I called him and I was like, I don't know how you run your business, but how do you pay your employees? Usually, you pay them like every Friday or something for a job that they've done. So and so soon, I forgot whatever crop because I wasn't, I don't think I was into it, whatever he was saying. And so and so, so and so, I'm on the phone and I said, now I need you to. I need you to do business, I said, because I don't know what your calendars look like. I don't I don't know. You don't seem like an early person and da 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 da. Right? I'm you know, I'm letting him know. Cause I am a certain way. And we we're talking about money. I'm not I know I had another client that he was working with somebody he's never worked with before. I referred him to him, but I didn't know the client was going to say, oh, I got plenty of money. That's fine. I, money is not a problem. That's no issue. No, you don't never tell anybody money is not a problem. It's not an issue. No, don't. I don't care if you got millions in a bank. That's not business. You let them know I'm concerned about the price. How much are you charging? Then that keep them down. But if you say, oh, money is no issue. That's no, I don't, that's no problem. I'm ready. I can do it. That's a problem. That's why I let him know for sure, look, and and we have to be careful because we, we be getting crazy and ignorant. We, we want this lavish lifestyle. I need humble, humble, humble yourself. I pray for humbleness all the time. So I'm like, wait a minute. Uh... You asking for all this money, so and so, so and so. You working this weekend? Oh yeah, so and so, so and so. I said, okay, we'll see. So guess what? Friday or Saturday, I'd have to look at my text. He texts me. Get a hold of this. Um, something came up in the emergency. It's always an emergency with him. Emergency came up. And we're not gonna be able to do anything Saturday and Sunday. And you know Sunday is Mother's Day. I knew Sunday was Mother's Day when you first said it, didn't you? And Sunday is Mother's Day. This is on text, though. And I hope you're still going to pay me like you agreed on Monday. 
you know what? I agree to a lot of things. But right now, you made me mad. I agreed to you working before you get any money. That's what I know I agreed to. So I didn't bother to answer. I didn't even answer. Because I'm, I'm really perturbed. So... I called my dude that he that referred him to me and I was like, look here, your your dude running game, what's up with him? Because I don't even like like how he talking out the side of his text. <laughs> and he was like, Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, he was like that in the beginning, but I've been working with him and I mean he's good for the money. It's just that I think he's trying to pay one job to finish this other job. Well, that's no good. I can tell you right now, that's not gonna work. You don't you need to make sure that job is paying for that job or something wrong with your money. And then what if something happened and you can't pay them on my job? Then what? I done paid you money and you done took that money and did it for something else? Don't do that. And then he told me this is what, you know, stir up my instincts. He said, about, usually I be at the whole job. Like I be at the plumbing and whatever. Well, I didn't even respond to that because you're dealing with me and don't nobody. I don't bid no whole job because what I'm saying I don't like to do is what it sounds like you do. You have no plumbing experience. Why would I hire you? I want a direct plumber. Like I say, I want the person to work on this job. I want you working on I don't want no sub to hire no sub to hire no sub. He said, like, I got a job right now that we doing sheetrock. I just listen. I said, oh, you doing all of that? Yeah. And that's how I usually be at the job. I'm not impressed. Can you keep up? And he up here already talking about, oh, I had back surgery and da, da, da. And I can do all of it. I just went running five miles that morning. I was talking to him. I don't, I'm not impressed. Then, so anyway, I was fussing to his, the, the dude that referred him. And he said, I see what you're saying. But yeah, so and so, so I forgot what he was telling me. He, but he said, but I, I see what you're saying. I, I know. And I said, yeah, I'm like, I don't want you to, to do me wrong on my job. Cause you're trying to pay another job that you didn't calculate the money and profit properly. And right. And then what got me on this video now is that I was working out and he texts me. I don't know what he texts me, but it pissed me off that he texts me this morning. And he's never texted me this early in the morning before. He texts me before 8. And he don't text because he's not a morning person. So what are you texting me? Am I going to give you some money? And you haven't even done any job? And I'm just paying you for labor? And they haven't even finish whatever my credit at the electric at the electric uh, supply house because then are you gonna how are you gonna do me when it's time are you gonna get some extra wiring on my credit to pay somebody to do a job for somebody else that be it complete see you you have to watch all aspects of everything so I don't know that makes me wonder I'm gonna have to see because that's not good. And I hate to keep complaining to the person that referred him to me. Because it's like, Jamika, look. Get you somebody else then, right? So I'm just going to see how this is going to go. Because when I talked to him initially, I said, you know, I was like, so how much is this material going to be? He said, oh, well, I usually, um, they can tell me. Uh, a whole sheet. You know what? That makes me think. You know what I'm going to do? Because I said something to him and he said, well, really, we shouldn't even start the job until the roof is finished. Okay, well, I can match you with that. Don't start the job until the roof is finished. That's easy. I got to wait anyway. That just give me time to breathe. I still got to find furniture that I want. I still got to look for stuff. I still, my brain, I'm still trying to see how I'm going to get stuff paid for with the, um, how clients are going to pay for stuff. Do I do a transaction? Do I do the little credit card thing? Do I, is there, do I cash out? What do I do? PayPal. I'm up here worried, worried with that kind of stuff. Not really the building. I, the building is going to do it. The building, I'm trying to see how I'm going to furnish the place. I'm up here meeting with HVAC people trying to see what they're going to do and how they're going to run this and how I'm going to run that. You see what I'm saying? So that little stuff ain't 
Cause that electric ain't stop no party. Once I got my frame up without the electrician, I'm I'm really good. I don't I'm not because people you should have electric drills and whatever. I gotta go buy a generator, hell. I don't want to. That's extra money. So let me not speak that into no existence. But you know, I'm not that ain't gonna stop the party in the show. As long as I got access to the transformer, I'm good. That's that's a lot of weight off of me. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Glory. We good. So, um, this is my concern. So, why are you calling me about money and stuff? Why don't you put a package together with Crawford Electric to tell them what all I need? That way, I'll know what my prices look like on that end. That's my concern, really. I know what your price is, but I don't need... 30 more thousand over here to that when that shouldn't be the case. That's what I need to find out. That's what I need to answer to. So the point of it all is you got to be watch these contractors and subcontractors and whatever. If you're going to be big britches and be the general contractor, just watch out for game. And we'll see how this is going to play out because I see you. Instinct and all. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.